Hey guys, what's up? It's AppOSX here, and today I'll be giving you guys a review on TweetBot for the iPad. Now, I understand this application did come out about a week or two ago, but I still feel like it's such a good app that I needed to do a review slash overview on TweetBot. So let's just go ahead and launch up the application here and take a look at everything TweetBot has to offer, or at least close to everything, because can't really show everything in this application, you know, in an entire video. This is already about seven minutes long. So let's just go ahead and give the briefest uh, overview that I can. So right here you have the timeline. Obviously the timeline is the most important aspect to any Twitter application. Your timeline needs to work and it needs to work well and it works extremely well in TweetBot. What's really cool right here you can see that images are automatically, they're automatically a thumbnail in the timeline so you don't have to, you know, in a native Twitter application you have to click a link and then it will launch the image. This is already previewed right there. So right here we have a tweet from Ty Moss, obviously a really famous person on YouTube. And then you have a lot of options to do with this tweet. You can reply, retweet, favorite, or do a bunch of other options in the actions, or of course view details about that tweet. If we swipe to the left, you can view replies to his tweet. So he tweeted something, and then you can see what other people said in reply to that tweet. Just one of the many gestures um, in TweetBot for iPad. Just a simple swipe to the left over any one of the tweets. So we're going to continue down the scroll, uh, continue down the timeline here, and obviously you can see at the top left you can change between timelines if you want to uh, change, possibly even a list, but I don't have any list, so obviously I can't show you that. I'm just not, I've never really gotten into list. Right here you have your mentions tab, basically the same thing as your timeline, except everything is obviously mentioning you. So these are all your tweets. Here's a tweet from Quinn Nelson. I'm going to swipe to the left and view our conversation that we had on Twitter. You can see that it's color-coded. Um, Quinn is blue and I am white. So that is a really cool feature of TweetBot and like I said just another one of the, the gestures that makes TweetBot so easy to use and there you can see you have the same options if you single tap on a tweet. Direct messages are really cool because it almost looks like the text messaging or iMessaging, whatever you want to call it, application on the iPad. You have the, I guess, the other person in blue and your text in white. So you can quickly view uh, direct messages with uh, color coding and stuff like that. Right here is our favorites tab, nothing too special about favorites, it's basically just like I said, it looks just like your timeline except all the tweets you have favorited. Search is actually one of the uh, better features of uh, TweetBot in my opinion. Right here you can obviously do a lot of different search functions, but we're just going to go to followers and um, we're going to take a quick look at followers. You can view, basically view all your followers and if you hit the little gear button you can view more information or if you single tap one of the followers you can view even more information about that specific person. There's a lot more to search in TweetBot for iPad and it excels above a lot of other applications and of course you can still view trends and stuff like that on Twitter. Profile is also pretty cool. Um, another great interface right here and it basically is the same profile for everything and of course you can uh, adjust your information directly from the TweetBot application. A really cool feature of uh, TweetBot. List, like I said, I don't use list. Sorry, guys. Um, if you use list, I'm sure it looks pretty cool, but I don't have any lists, so I can't really show you that feature. But right here is the retweets tab. Of course, you can do retweets by you, your tweets retweeted, or retweeted by others. A lot of different categories and options to choose from for retweets. Last, we have mute filters. This is one of the unique features of TweetBot. Basically, a mute filter is if you have someone you don't want to unfollow, but you want to mute them for whatever reason, you can go ahead and do so um, within TweetBot. I'm not actually going to show you exactly how, but this is where you can manage your uh, mute filters within the tweet, within the TweetBot for iPad application. So now let's take a look at the Compose Tweet uh, window because I actually haven't showed you that yet, and that's another important part of TweetBot for iPad. So I'm just going to actually type a real tweet here. I was basically just hitting the keys earlier, but we're going to type a little tweet here that says "Hello World," and obviously you can see that you can add. Uh, you can mention people, use hashtags, um, of course there are buttons at the top if you're using a third-party keyboard, a wireless keyboard or something like that, and basically you can also attach images like you can in any Twitter application, but um, who wants to take a photo with their iPad? Um, I guess the cameras are just so bad. Anyways, so we're actually going to hit cancel on this tweet to show you one of the features for uh, TweetBot for iPad, and that's the ability to save the tweet as a draft. So we're going to hit save this draft, and we're going to compose another tweet. I'm going to type something that autocorrects the gun for whatever reason, and we're going to pull up our old draft, and there's Hello World, we're going to hit Tweet, we get a notification that the tweet was posted. I actually like the confirmation in TweetBot. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a quick look at the settings preferences for TweetBot for iPad. Um, obviously right now we can change and turn off or on the sounds, I recommend keeping them on just because the sounds are so cool in this application. 
Next, we can change display from, and we can change the font size anywhere from tiny to huge, whether the full name or username is displayed, the date format, and I guess new tweet spar, which is kind of hard to describe, but you will see what it means. I'm um, right here. We have navigation. You can turn off specific tabs like I turned off list because I don't use lists and you can turn off features that you don't want. Now, triple tap is a really cool feature in TweetBot. You can triple tap on any tweet and call out a custom action for the app to choose. So right here, I have a tweet from Federico Vitisi. Sorry if I did not pr pronounce that correctly, but you just can triple tap on any tweet and reply or choose one of the, I believe, other five options available in TweetBot. Like I said, another one of these gestures that TweetBot has that is just you know, it goes above and beyond what other applications do. TweetBot is awesome because it has native push, native push notifications. You know, originally the free, you know, official Twitter app was the only one to support push notifications, so TweetBot does that also. URL shortening, there aren't too many services, but for image uploading and video uploading, there are a lot of services. I would like to see more services for URL shortening. I'm not sure why there aren't more. I believe there is a reason, but I'm not entirely too sure. You can change read it later or read later to services like read it later, readability, and some paper and stuff like that. You can use tweet marker for syncing across multiple devices. I'm not going to get into that, but it is really cool and I recommend that you guys check out tweet marker. Also, right now we have the ability to change the mobilizer and some paper and readability. And finally, we can change the search functions from, you know, changing the trends from worldwide to Brazil to France if you want to specify it a little bit um, better. So that is TweetBot, but there is, like in Apple's events, there is one more thing. And in this case, it's actually more than one more thing. So I'm just going to show you a couple more features that really make uh, TweetBot stand out, in my opinion. So right here, we can actually manage accounts and switch between multiple accounts. Of course, I only have one Twitter account on here just because I only have one Twitter account. But if you are one of those people who has more than one Twitter account, you can easily switch between Twitter accounts. Um, the second thing that I'd like to show you is the ability to search within that timeline. I think this is really cool. Because if you want to find specific tweets, um, let's say iPhone in them, for instance, as I just showed you, you can find all the tweets within your timeline that did that, or your favorites, or mentions, whatever you'd like to do. So that is TweetBot for iPad. I believe it's the best uh, Twitter app for the iPad, and I hope you guys check it out. It is available on the App Store for $2.99. It is well worth the price, and also check out the iPhone version of this application. So that's it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there. Follow me on Twitter at iAppOSX. Add me on Game Center as AppOSX. Share this video across the web. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching.